What's going on everyone? My name is Will You We Don't Care My Name Is and today I'm going to be reviewing the sequel to the 1993 movie Hocus Pocus 2. So yes, it's been nearly 30 years since the first film came out and while it didn't do well in theaters, it did gain a following. So many people fell in love with this film and became a cult classic. You've seen so many merchandise uh, being made and being sold. You've seen people dressing up as the Sanderson sisters. And even seeing people singing the song, I Put a Spell on You. Like, this movie gained such a huge following to the point that when we heard they were making a sequel and they were bringing back the actresses who played the sisters, we all got excited. We couldn't wait to see the Sanderson sisters come back. We couldn't wait to see how this was, film was going to go. So, after nearly 30 years, how did it do? It was a lot of fun, actually. <laughs> uh, the plot for this film focuses on these two uh, teenage girls who end up waking up the Sanders' sisters. They ended up resurrecting them, who now plan to... Uh, you know, you would think they were going to go out and absorb the life force of the children, until it turns out, no, there's actually a new... Uh, goal for the sisters and it's actually revenge which honestly it's okay it's a little different i gotta admit i did like that the plot goes into the backstory of the sanderson sisters we find out a little bit more about them and their connection to salem other than the fact what we saw in the first film so i like the fact that they didn't try repeating a lot of the uh, from the first film but they still kept some stuff being repeated but i did like how the main focus is on the bond of sisterhood, which I thought, okay, that's actually not bad. It really kept my interest what was going on throughout the whole film and allowing us to learn more about these characters. And yeah, that's actually pretty good. And let's be honest, they pretty much stole the whole show, which I very much like. Yes, there are times the plot can be predictable, which I think might be its only flaw, but everything else still not bad, especially when we get to the final act, which... Went a different route that I didn't expect them to see them go, and I liked it. And hopefully we see the return of the sisters come back, and if they do an another film. Uh, anyway, speaking of the sisters, even though it's been nearly 30 years, Bet uh, Betty Mittler, Kathy Najimi, and Sarah Jessica Parker all did a great job reprising their roles. It was amazing. They still look great. Even nearly 30 years later, they still look great. And... These ladies, again, they stole the show. They still have such great chemistry. They're able to play off against uh, one another every time they appeared. It was so much fun. They were the best part of the film. I was surprised they brought back Doug Jones to reprise his role as Billy, the zombie from the first film. But I didn't mind it. I thought he did a great job, too. The young actresses they got for this uh, film to play as the main characters, I thought they did a great job, too. I love the chemistry that they have with the... With the actress, the older actresses, I thought they did a great job with that. The other actress did a good job too, but let's be honest, the main focus is on the Sanderson sisters, and people are going to be more happy with them on screen than anyone else. Okay, so that being said, there is a major flaw with this film, and it's mostly the special effects. Now, you would think you would try making certain scenes look better, especially when they're flying. Um... But no, it looked very cheap, the special effects, which I didn't very much like. Uh, a good example of this I could use is when you see the sisters flying over the city and another scene where you think they're in a forest, but it turns out no, it's basically they're shooting it on stage. And you could tell with the background, you can tell, oh my god, you guys couldn't even do this in a forest? I don't think it's really that expensive to do that. Uh... Despite that, though, it was still kind of funny to see the uh, the sisters flying, especially <laughs> how uh, Mary ends up flying herself. I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, as for the music, I actually didn't mind the music. I thought they did a decent job with the new songs added into the film, but I did wish they brought back I Put a Spell on You. I mean, that one's the best part of the whole film, or the first film at least. Um, but the way the film was shot, it still wasn't bad. I still liked how, you know, how the sisters all look. So, yeah, not bad. And, yeah, despite the flaws with this film, which is mostly on the special effects, I still thought they did a great job with this film. Is it better than the first one? Oh, hell no. It's it, The first one's still great. But it is actually a good sequel. I will give them that. This is actually a pretty good sequel. One I think people will end up enjoying and will we'll want to watch again and again. I know I'm going to watch it again, uh, especially now that we're in October. So, yeah, this was a, was a fun sequel. I was very happy they brought back the actresses to reprise her role and hopefully they do a third one i wouldn't mind 
But uh, we'll wait and see what happens. So that's pretty much it. If you have a different opinion about this mo movie or what you think of the first one, leave some comments below. Let me know what you think. Hit the subscribe button, share my favorite page, if you have my favorite page, check out T3 Media's channel, subscribe to their channel if they were the videos, and I'll see you next time to give you more love and more entertainment. Until then, guys, take care, be safe, love y'all, and goodbye.